most of the high-risk, low-frequency events that you will ever get involved in. Not all, but most of them. There is time to think them through. Time to think them through. This is the most valuable information I can give you, ladies and gentlemen. You have time on a task? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. All right, that was Gordon Graham talking about risk management. Today we're going to go over some gems from his famous speech. Um, a lot of uh, the fire service recruit classes play these uh, these clips because they're just so timeless and um, there's just a lot of gems you can take away from them. Whenever I look at something going bad, I ask, were there systems in place? Were they up to date? Were they being implemented? Systems. Systems. This all leads up to this whole concept of making decisions on high consequence, low probability events, or what I like to call high risk, low frequency. Risk and frequency. By the end of my little talk here today, I want this prominent in your mind. Some things you do in the fire service are what I call high risk events. Definition. If they don't go right, the consequences in civil court, personal injury, organizational embarrassment are high. Some of what you do are called low-risk events. Definition, if it goes bad, the consequences are low. Some things you do a lot, high frequency. Some things you do rarely, low frequency. The risk frequency analysis. Firefighters get in trouble for two things, folks. Intentional misconduct, that happens, but it's rare. Most of what gets us in trouble, gets you in trouble, are mistakes. Study the consequences. Study the consequences. Mistakes happen. Where do mistakes happen? Very rarely do you end up in trouble on high frequency events. High frequency events, things you do all the time, generally don't cause you problems. Why? Because of a wonderful tool known as RPDM, recognition prime decision making. Recognition prime decision making. And you can read all the books out there that are on neural linguistic programming, and my doctor friends out here in the audience hopefully will be able to back me up on this. But there's all sorts of studies about how do we think things through, and a lot of these were done back in the 50s and 60s, and a lot of these studies involve fire departments. And they came up with this concept of RPDM, recognition prime decision making. Your brain is this massive hard drive loaded with information, billions of gigabytes of data stored in this massive hard drive. And when you get involved in any incident, in any incident, the brain scans it, beep, 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 looks for a match in the already existing hard drive, finds the match and automatically directs behavior based on past behavior that ended up with a successful result. Yeah, so he's talking about that prime decision making. And, you know, in the ARF industry, we don't have plane crashes every day. Um, that's why I feel like this channel is so important. I like to study uh, previous plane crashes and watch how the ARF um, fire department solved those problems that they ran into. Study the history, study what happened, um, what went wrong, what went right. And then just train as hard as we can, um, as frequently as we can, and think about um, what the worst thing that can happen at an airport or at any any district that you work at and basically um, try to find solutions and and pre-plan those those worst case scenarios and I think that's what he's trying to say here when mistakes occur folks they're over here on the low frequency events and I'm not worried about these the low risk low frequency events because even if they go bad the consequences are relatively small where I get all worked up, folks, where I get all worked up and where I want you to be getting worked up as a mom, as a dad, as a chief, as a firefighter, as a union leader, I don't care who you are. Where I want you getting worked up is right here. High risk, low frequency events. All right. Please, I want you to get this chart indelibly imprinted over your left eye. Just like this. And when you're playing on the high frequency side, no worries. When you're on the low risk side, no worries. High frequency, no worries. Low risk, no worries. When your eye gets stuck up here, beep, 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 high risk, low frequency, I want the bells of St. Mary going off in your head. 
This is the incident that's got the highest probability of causing you grief. Why? Because your hard drive is empty, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so high risk, low frequency. And in the ARF industry, pretty much everything is high risk, low frequency. Um, here are some pictures of things that have happened in the past. So here is a, a bomb. Um, somebody drove a car into an air, airport that could happen that's high risk low frequency we don't see that every day um active shooter someone brings a gun into the airport and starts shooting people um high risk low frequency an airplane crash high risk low frequency so it's very important what he's saying especially in our industry um that we need to really be aware of you know it's easy to watch the planes come in and land and think, oh, yeah, planes don't crash. But, you know, there are serious things that could happen and it's going to happen in an instant where you're going to be at the station one, at one moment and the next moment it's going to be 100 miles an hour with all these things that could happen. So it's good to, you know, think about it, train and uh, always be ready. Hope you enjoyed this video.